hello everyone welcome to another video today we're gonna have some fun these are one of my favorite things to hook up to an Arduino and to use uh, because this actually gives you an easy way to provide uh, meaningful output and debug your your sketches and display information all kind of stuff and they're just cool looking this is a 16 by 2 LCD character display and this is a standard display. This is not um, an I squared C, which you may have already heard about, although we will be doing one of those soon too. We're gonna to start off with the old fashioned kind. And uh, basically you get two lines um, of 16 characters each that we can output data to from the Arduino. But first we have to hook this thing up and there are a lot of connections. It's pretty, it's not hard, but there are a bunch of connections. You can see going from left to right, we have 16 total pins. <laughs> so we're gonna, uh, it, it, if we break it down step by step, it's not bad at all though. A lot of it has to do with power uh, and contrast control. One, two, one, two, three, four, five of these pins are deal with power and or contrast and then four Four of them, four of the pins aren't even used at all. So it won't be bad. It won't be hard at all. So anyway, we have the character LCD and we have a potentiometer for contrast control. And we have the Arduino, of course. We have a breadboard and we have a little pile right here of jumper wire. And we're going to concentrate on this first part, uh, just hooking up the... Uh, Hooking up the power connections, making sure we get all that squared away, and then we'll go for the data connections, and then we'll look at actually uploading code um, to the Arduino that uses the LCD. So let's go ahead and get started, and we will just plug, just plop this LCD right into the breadboard there, and then we'll plug our this is just a little standard 10k potentiometer here which it seems like I'm using in every project lately but they're so damn handy huh we'll plug that in here and let's go ahead and start with these power connections so if we look from left to right the first and these these are pretty standard okay so that's going to apply to just about all of them um, we're always going to have grounds on either side. Pins 1 and 16 are going to be ground, and then the pins right next to them are going to be 5 volts. Uh, this side over here, that powers the logic of the LCD. This side over here, that powers the backlight. And then this pin right here that says VO, that's coming from the center pin of the potentiometer, and that gives us contrast control. Uh, so that's what we're going to hook up. And of course, we also have to feed uh, plus 5 and ground to the potentiometer. So we have a total of three 5-volt three connections to make, three ground connections to make, and then one connection to make from the center pin of the pot over to VO or V0. Not sure which one it is. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First thing we'll do is we'll connect our power rail to the breadboard. Okay, there's the ground. Then I want to get five volts. This other rail here. Okay, power rail's connected now, it's hot and we can go ahead, hopefully I'm not blocking it too bad. We'll go ahead and hook up. It doesn't matter which one is which here. One side of the potentiometer is going to be ground. The other side of the potentiometer is going to be 5 volts. Okay, there we go. That's hooked up. And then like I said, either end of the LCD we're gonna have ground so pin 1 right here is gonna be ground looks right 
and then pin 16 right here. Tell you what, I'm gonna give these a little more room to breathe. Pin 16 is gonna be ground also, and then we'll have five volts here. And then we'll have five volts. Okay, no reason to run it there. I can move it like this. And then we'll have five volts right here. And you can see as soon as I do that, the LCD backlight comes on. So that just proves that 15 and 16 power the backlight. One and two power the actual logic of the LCD. So now all that's left as far as that goes, other than data, will connect this jumper to the center pin of the potentiometer. And like I said a minute ago, that swings over here to the VO, and now we can actually see some character blocks. And as I turn the potentiometer, you can see they go away or they get darker depending on the position of the potentiometer. So that is all set. Power connections and everything are made. Now we need to make some data connections. Okay, so now I've pulled up this sample sketch. It's a Hello World sketch from Arduino, uh, the Arduino website. I'm gonna link this sketch down below, or this page down below. Lots of good information, uh, lots of good reference material for these things. And also, in the actual sketch, it actually tells you the exact connections you're gonna be making uh, in, in the comments. So we'll go through these, and we'll go ahead and make the connections. Okay, LCD RS pin, and I think they kinda go in order. Yeah, so, yeah, the next pin is RS. RS pin goes to digital pin 12. Okay. Got the right one. And then, let's see. LCD enable goes to pin 11. Okay, so they skipped they skipped that next pin because it goes RS, RW, and then E, which I'm guessing is enable. All right, and then LCD D4 goes to pin 5. Well, they jump all around. Okay, we're not using D0 through D3, it looks like. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let me go. D, D4 goes to digital pin 5. Okay, looks good. <laughs> they try and mess you up. Let's see. D5 goes to digital pin 4. So they have 4 going to 5 and 5 going to 4. Now, if that was me writing this sketch, I would have flip-flopped those around. <laughs> I guess they have a good reason, though. Uh, D6 goes to 3. Yeah, I'm just using all the same colors. D6 goes to 3. There we go. And D7 goes to 2. I mean, look at all. Yeah, D7 goes to pin 2. Look at all the friggin' wires. That's crazy. And it's good to do one like this because then the next time when you do a... Um, when you do one where you have a an I squared C... I squared C uh, LCD... You'll appreciate it because <laughs> you won't, especially the ones that have the the uh, pot built into the back of the board. Man, those are nice because it eliminates a bunch of stuff. Um, let's see what else do we have. Moving on, LCD RW pin to ground. Okay, that's this one right here that we didn't hook up earlier. 
We're going to take that to the ground on the power rail. There we go. Uh, LCD VSS pin to ground. Okay, we already did that. These are the power connections. VSS, VCC, that's the power connections over here. Uh, 10K resistor ends to five, plus 5 ground. Okay, they're, they're the 10K resistor is the potentiometer they're talking about there. Okay, so I think we should be all set. Let's let's look at the code real quick. Okay, it includes the liquid crystal.h library, the constants for all the pins and whatnot. Um, this is set up for the LCD 16 by 2, because they also make some that are like 16 by 4, 20 by 4, etc. And then it's just gonna print hello world. And then in the loop here, set cursor 0, 1. That's, I think that's the upper left-hand corner. Print the number of seconds since reset. LCD print milliseconds divided by 1,000. And then it'll keep on doing that. So that should be a counting kind of deal there. All right. Let's go ahead and upload it. See if it works. Hey, it looks like... Looks like we got our bazillion wires connected up correctly. And it says, hello world. And it's counting. And you can see if I, if I take all of the attenuation out of the potentiometer, then we get way too much contrast. And then I dial some in and it makes it look great. I mean, these, these things look, these displays look fantastic. Very easy to read. They also took, take up a lot of power, but then if you do this, it totally disappears. So if you ever think your display is not working, you may have to just adjust your pot. But yeah, hello world. There it is. That is it, guys. Um, and we're gonna be using the LCD in the next project. We're going to be using LCDs a lot now that we've introduced them. Uh, probably just as much as we've been using potentiometers. We may not be using this particular display, but we will be using one of some sort. So, hope y'all learned a little something here, guys. Uh, this was actually in that same kit. Let me grab it real quick. This was in that 37 sensor kit that uh, I've been using stuff out of lately so that's why i happen to have this one sitting around hope y'all enjoyed hope y'all learned a little something i'll see y'all next time guys bye bye